did it again. You ain't gonna like it, but the hood's gonna love it. Trump, he did it. He survived an assassination attempt. And goddamn, I'm proud of this America. He, I am proud. You know why I'm proud? Because it's not so often that you get a man that st- decides to stand up for what's right, that stands up for being a man, that stands up for grabbing people by the, uh, the vagina. It's not so often you get this. And when you see a guy who's out there to trying to do the thing and try to fight for the American, the common American, you support him. So anyway, Trump got shot at during a Trump rally in Philadelphia. And what do you do? He did it like what any real gangster would do. He felt the wound. He looked up. Said, I'm still alive. My heart's still beating. And threw up a fist. And that's what we need to do as Americans. See, this is a large dimension. See, Trump is like the greatest pro wrestler to ever exist. And the fact that he's always known that the wa- the camera's watching, the stage is always going, and you got to perform. you got to perform. The show must go on no matter what. The show must go on. He didn't just say, oh, well, I got a shot. Let me go cower down and hide. No, he, he stood up defiantly. Not knowing for the second or third or fourth shot was coming, he said, you know what? I'm still here. I'm still living. Let me go ahead and get the rally. people rallied. And see, that's what we need as Americans. As I grow older, as I, I learn to appreciate this great country we call America, as, no matter what, what the bullshit we're going through, because America is like a, it's like a dysfunctional family. Even though you got a dysfunctional family, it's still a family. You still got to love each other. You still got to appreciate each other, one another. And you still got to keep doing to make sure the family still keeps running. And that's what Trump did. See, one of the things I started to learn as a man, and what I started to grow is, nobody gives a fuck how you feel. Nobody cares if you're sick, if you're poor, if you're broke, if you're hurt, if you're sad. You do the fucking job. And that rallied me. That got me going. That got me going. It got me going. You know why it got me going? Because that's the type of spirit we don't have no longer in America. See, in America currently, in our current age, we have a bunch of men that have just given up on life and given up trying to be men. They have, they have fallen guard to the, the, the rise of liberalism and feminism. And they've chosen to be finger painting, bonnet wearing, uh, fuck boys. And that's what the common man has chosen to be. And there's very few of us in the world that are still trying, still fighting every day to be the best we can be. And for those who are still fighting, Trump gives us a fucking a motive. He gives us an inspiration. He gives us a muse by which we can inspire to be great. Now, is he perfect? God damn it, he's not perfect. And no man is perfect. But that's what makes him so fucking wonderful. That's what makes us inspired by Trump, is that the fact that he knows he's a piece of shit, he's openly misogynistic, he's openly a scam artist that has uh, conned many of people out of uh, money in the construction game, he's clearly a narcissist, but he owns up to it. He doesn't hide from it. Even at the ripe age of 78 years old, he does not run for who he is. And that's what you learn as men. Stop running from who you are. Listen. As a man, you're not going to be perfect. You're not. There's no such thing as a perfect man. Don't let these women fool you. These women are trying to sell you on this image that you're supposed to be this instructive guy. And you don't have to be that guy. Because look at Trump. As far as a political career goes, Trump has beaten every single obstacle that is out there. You can't be a businessman. You can't be misogynistic. You can't be a guy who talks the truth. You can't be a guy that's openly rich and flaunts it. Trump has to fight it all. And you know why he has to fight it? Because the American public, the American people want a man who doesn't give a shit. And that's what I'm trying to tell you, man. You men who are watching this camera, look at me straight in my eyes right now. Stop giving so much of a fuck. When you stop giving so much of a fuck... Is when you start to become the man that you truly deserve and the man that you were destined to be. Listen, let me tell you something. It's all a facade. One of the things that guys overrate in this world is that people give a shit. People do not care about your character. People do not care about your doings as long as you can be serviceable and valuable to them. People don't care if you will fuck hookers seven days a week and twice on Sunday. They don't care. They do not care. As long as you can be serviceable and you work in your best interest. Because we all know that we're all full of shit. So 
what I want you guys to understand as young people, as Americans, and as men, rally behind this guy. Defend him. A vote for him. Because a vote for Trump is a vote for you. And not a vote just as American, a vote as a man. Let's take our country back. God bless Trump. God bless America.